Hey y'all, how's it going? I know that's not my usual intro, but we're doing a little something different today. Um, not actually though, because we're actually finishing the upstairs of this house that I did in my last video. Um, I think we, I'd actually, oh yeah, we, no, we didn't do the downstairs. So we just did like this first floor um, up here. So I might like just, honestly, I might do the porch off camera or something because... I don't know what it is with porches, but I always struggle with like the placement of things um, and like what to put out there. So I may or may not do that. I think we'll put some stuff in the yard and we'll do the upstairs and then the downstairs here, just like some clutter and stuff. Um, and yeah, I think that's what we're going to do today. And then this house um, should be up for download so that um, if you guys want to download it, uh, then you can. So yeah. Um, I know that it's like kind of different now on the channel that I'm doing these like save file videos. Um, maybe it's like, I don't know if you guys are kind of like, oh, like we're not getting to download houses anymore, but I am going to put uh, these houses as like I finish them up for download. So it just might take a little bit um, longer because these videos, I guess, take longer. Um, I might not always do like, you know, these kinds of style videos that are super long. I might still do like speed builds and stuff just because it can be faster sometimes um, to like get the build out. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this one should be up for download after uh, we're done furnishing it today. So that's kind of cool. And let me see. I always use the exact same light for garages. Where is it? You know that one? It's like that bare bulb one. Why can't I find it though? Okay, wait, where is it? Hello? Okay, no, it's here. Okay, yeah. I pretty much always use this light for like basements and garages. The only thing is, I, yeah, it's too long. It's gonna like hit. It's gonna like go inside of that thing. I guess we could like do this and have it be on the sides. Let's do that I think that's fine um yeah we'll do that for now and then as always I actually is this the default I think it is the default concrete I always never know what to put inside of a garage because I've seen different things um with like garage like in real life with people's garages sometimes they'll have like um like you know stone or whatever sometimes it's just like concrete i'm pretty sure i've seen maybe i haven't actually i think they're mostly concrete but yeah i don't know why i like don't know what to put in garage floors because it's usually i'm pretty sure like concrete and stuff should i try to make it match this outside thing because i don't want to like delete the floor I mean, we could do that Maybe got, they got, like, it, it finished or something. I don't know. Um, or we could just leave it, like, a concrete vibe. What is this one? We can just do that. That's fine. And then, as always, with every single garage I do, I usually put the, like, storage shelves that comes with... What's it called? This one. This one's from Strangerville. This one's from Island Living. And then I just, like... I don't know, get some stuff that looks like maybe it's older and then they would like put it in the garage for storage. Um, so that's, I just kind of like taking old looking stuff out and just random like furniture pieces and things or stuff that has like tools on them. Um, and then I also usually get, I either put a, um, what's it called? Sometimes I'll put like a flower arranging table. Or I'll put a that workbench thingy that we have that they the word woodworking bench. So I'll put that in garages sometimes if I feel like it fits. Where is that anyways? Yeah, it's in here. Um It also depends on the family though. Like if the Sims here, I feel like they would actually have that stuff. I also put this in there. Like it's um it's like the busking station or whatever where they can play music and stuff. But I just feel like it looks like something someone would have in their garage. So, I like putting that in garages, too. And then, of course, like, the woodworking bench. Oh, there's, like, there's this one. I didn't know I had that. Is that functional? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, cool. That's functional. Um, and then I thought I had 
I could have sworn that I had the, um, the Max 20... What's it called? Like that garage set thing? I don't know if I- do I have that still in my game? When I was doing the save file, I like cleared some stuff out just because I realized I had way too much CC in my game. Um, so I don't know if I actually- oh I don't! Okay yeah, so I don't have that anymore, so... I can't put the items from that in here. Should we do two or is that like... Doing too much? I kind of like the way they look. This is also supposed to be kind of like- it's like- I don't know. What, like the upper middle class area or whatever. I forgot what this area of- this is in Willow Creek. I forgot what the area is called. Oh yeah. Also, I built these houses <laughs> um, since I last filmed. So um, I don't have videos for them. I just kind of did it on a whim while watching copious hours of House MD because I'm kind of addicted to watching that show right now. Um, so yeah, I just like built these at the same time as watching that show. So yeah, there's like this house. They all have like the whole vibe of like the garage um, being like on the main kind of ground floor and then a copious amount of stairs and then um, like the two story kind of vibe. Um, I don't know. I just like this style of house in this area. I think it's, it looks nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do for like the surrounding world. There's also like this like kind of, you know, I don't know, probably like a shopping center or something or like so a place with like restaurants or something. Um, are those flat? What is that? Are those lights? Oh yeah, I think it's lights that were supposed to be on the building. Okay. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, on the side, probably just gonna like fill this area with trees and like maybe like deco houses or something. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with the world and like the background and stuff quite yet, but is this swimmable? Does anyone know if this like thing here is swimmable? I know there's like they I don't know if they updated all the water or if it was just in certain like packs that we had. Um, because they did like an update where you could like swim in some bodies of water. I don't know if this is swimmable though. I feel like it isn't because it feels like it's too shallow for sims to swim in so i don't think it is i'm pretty sure you just fish in it but yeah um anyways uh i just wanted to show you that because i'm pretty sure this was all blank except for this house oh yeah i did show this house last time um but it had like a different color scheme i went for this one um oops i just like lagged a little bit there i don't know why that's been happening it wasn't doing that before like the patch or whatever but it's just been kind of it's been like freezing every couple of seconds and I don't know why that's happening. Maybe I have- the only thing I've been like really downloading recently is like clothing and like cast CC. So maybe I did- maybe I downloaded something that is like weird with the game, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, it like keeps pausing every couple seconds and it does that in any world, like even not in the save. So um, yeah, I don't know what that's about, but I put in- because some people were saying that like the freezer bunny app was like making people's game slower so and um turbo driver who's like a mod creator they made like a mod that would basically stop like npcs and random townies and stuff from getting social bunny because that was like slowing down the game um so i got that mod and i assumed that it would make actual like live mode gameplay smoother but just like being in build mode it just keeps kind of doing that so i don't know i don't know um, but yeah, I did change the color scheme of this house. It used to be like orange. Um, and then I just went for something a little bit more kind of toned down in color scheme. Um, and then I kind of tried to do that for the rest of the houses. But yeah, that's like what this street is looking like so far. And I kind of like it. I kind of like these like lifted houses. But anyways, let's get back to what we were doing. Um, yeah, I just pulled these out here. So let's just, like, arrange it in some way. Let's arrange it in some kind of way. I don't know if this sim... Would they be into gardening? Or, like, flower arranging or something? Hmm. Like, maybe. Maybe. Oop. Maybe they would. 
I'm gonna keep that there for now. Um, I'm gonna recolor this real quick. Uh, I don't know why I like that one, but we're doing it. Yeah, they're just gonna have, I always like put these racks and garages, even though like obviously they're not in Sulani. Um, so they're probably not using this diving gear that often, but I figure like, I don't know, maybe it's like one of the parents' hobbies or something, like they go when they go away to Solani or like an island kind of world, um, they like to scuba dive or something. I don't know. I always add that in there, um, even if they're not living in Solani, because I just think it's a cool little like hobby thing maybe that they do or they used to do or whatever. Um... I'm not vibing any of those swatches if I'm being honest. Yeah, I just like putting random things in garages. Like it's just kind of old stuff they have laying around. It's the kind of vibe that we're doing. Yeah. Put this. I wish this was like a functional flower arranging table because it looks cute, but it's not so. We're just gonna, maybe I'll move this. This can be over here. Table can be there. This is like some old TV stand or whatever that they have and they just haven't gotten rid of it. Maybe they're gonna do like a garage sale eventually. But for now, it just sits in the garage. Let's see if I can find like boxes and stuff. Like this kind of thing, like crates and boxes and just random junk that someone would have in their garage. Cooler. Hmm. Ooh, these little pots. I can go in there, these boxes. We'll do multiple boxes of stuff that they just never unpacked from like years ago of moving because <laughs> I feel like sometimes people have that where they just like there's just some boxes you just never get to unpacking at some point after you move maybe people are more organized in their life than that um and they can't relate but uh I still have boxes from when I moved uh I actually moved during the pandemic and yeah there's like boxes that I haven't haven't seen the light of day since I moved so it is realistic for me, at least. I want to put like a, um, uh, what's it called? You know that shelf thing? Isn't there like a wall thing that has, wait, let me just type in tool actually. Cause I think there's like a tool thingy that goes on the wall. Uh, there's that, we can put that up there. Oh yeah, I have this stuff. So they can have like, I think it's like those tool drawers that people have in their garages and stuff sometimes. Maybe we'll put this near the, um, the back door. Um, this is like, that's like the second back door, the sliding door from the garage. I have one that goes off of the kit, uh, no, it's not off the kitchen. It's off the dining room, I think. Um, upstairs. So they can still obviously go outside to the backyard from up here. Um, but there's also another exit at the garage if they just want to, they're doing stuff in the garage and then they need to get outside. So yeah, there's both. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have, we'll put this up here. Is that floating? Yes. I also somehow deleted my... OMSP shelf, so it's like not in my game right now. I forgot to put it back in before I started recording and I'm not about to go get it now. So we're just gonna have to make do. Um, yeah, that's fine. I could have sworn, wasn't there like a, there's this thingy. I could put this thingy up here. There's like a bunch of tools and stuff. But I thought there was a, um, I could have sworn there was like something that goes on the wall. Don't we have that? Um, like there's like a wall thingy. 
Let me just search in here. I think it's near the end, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, I also got um, for rent. So maybe that's what's making it lag ever so often in build mode. Cause I know that was like an issue with a lot of people. Um, so maybe that's what's doing it. I'm not sure. It could be, that actually makes sense. Cause I don't think it was doing it before that. Uh, let's see. Do you guys see the tools? <laughs> Let me know if you see it because I might be glazing over. I'm pretty sure it's down in this area of the menu. Let me just expand it. Oh, it's literally at the bottom. Okay. Actually, I don't, why is there utensils in here? This is literally a spoon, a fork, and a knife. There's a wine, is that a wine glass? Oh, I thought it was a wine glass at first. Um, you know, on second thought, I think we'll just not put that on there. I'm not vibing that as much. Is there anything else here I wanna put in here? I like this little trophy thing. I always try to find this and for some, this is like one of those items that like is hard to find. You know, when you're like doing a build and you're like, you'll type in like trophy and it just doesn't come. I don't even think it's called that. Yeah, it's not. It's called shelf of champions. I literally can never find the shelf. It's like one of those items that I just, it's so difficult for me to find where it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's, Ooh, where's that like wall thing with like the fishing? Where's that fishing one? You know that fishing one? I think it came with um, growing together fishing. That could be good for the garage too. Okay, it's literally not here. I think it's from growing together. I'm just gonna like take CCL and then go to growing to, oops, growing together. Is mine wall decor? What? Literally, where is it then? Hello? Oh yeah, there's this too. I can put that in there. I mean, I already kind of did that with, whatever, it's fine. They can have two. Where in the world? I could have sworn that was in like the wall decor thing. There's this thingy. And then there's like one that has like, um, what's it called? Like the fishing rod? Where is that? Not this game gaslighting me. What is going on? I know that it's, I know that it's somewhere. These are cute. I always like forget to use these little things. They're so cute though. Um, I want to put this somewhere too. They're going to put, they're going to go right here. This little family of owls. Um, oh, I've never seen this before. Well, that's kind of nice, actually. That'd be nice for, like, a front yard or, like, a community lot. I've never... I literally didn't know that was in here. I should probably do this more often where I just, like, go to a specific pack and then, um, like, look at all of the debug items and stuff. I should probably do that more. Okay, I literally don't know where this fishing rod... Is it not from growing together? Do you know what? They're just not gonna have that in the garage. Because I can't find it. And it's not that important, so... We'll just go without it. I'll have this little... Thi what are these? Yeah, fishing lures. Lures? Lures. Lures. Fishing lures. <laughs> Why is that difficult to say? I don't know. Okay, let's put this up here. I know that's clipping inside, but we're gonna pretend that it's not, okay? No one saw that. And then we'll have, wait, who lives in this house actually? Isn't there kids? Okay, yeah, there's two, I'm assuming twins that share this room. This is the, is this the primary bedroom? I think I made this the primary bedroom. Yeah, cause they have like a balcony out here. So this is the primary bedroom and then this is like a teen bedroom. And then the twins. Okay, so there's like a teenager and two kids. So the kids probably could have this stuff in their room actually. I was gonna say like, I would keep it in the garage if it was like stuff that the kids used to have. I'm just gonna throw it out here so I can just 
go up and then throw it in here. There's probably not enough space for that, but whatever we can't put in there, we'll just throw in the garage. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. I want to get that, like, I think there's a, where is it? Okay, forget growing together. We'll put CC back on. I like putting, like, garbage bags and stuff in the garage. So we'll do, like, some garbage bags over here. Maybe this thingy. They just never got rid of it. Um... Yeah. And maybe, like, a bin over here. I think we have... Did we put a bin out there? No. Um, yeah, so they can have that in here. I kind of don't like this like that. Put the coats over here and then put this over here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Looks like they just kind of threw stuff around in the garage. Made space for the camper that they have. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so let's do this room. I'm not really sure what to do for this room. I guess they technically don't have an office in this house, so I could make the downstairs an office space because there's like literally no other room that could be dedicated to it. Um, but there's also two rooms. So this one obviously is like open to the front entrance. So I would make this kind of like a general area. So this makes sense to have like as an office and then maybe this will be like a guest room. Um, yeah, let's make this a guest room and then this will be like an office space in here. For a guest bed, I like to do something really simple for a guest bed. Like, it's usually literally just a white bed because I'm like, I don't know. If it's just a guest bedroom, then I feel like I have kind of just basic furniture in there. Should we do a closet? Hmm, should we do a closet? I mean, we can do a closet. Let's do one here. Hello? Okay, there we go. Yeah, we'll do a closet in here. Um, and then the bed can be in here. Should we put it on this wall? You will do that. Um... I've also been thinking a lot about like the balance of not having too much custom content in the save, but also not reusing the same stuff that we've had for like over a decade or at a decade, I guess now. Um, I was thinking about that yesterday when I was thinking about builds that I want to do. Um, Cause I always struggle with like how much is too much <laughs> and if it's gonna let the game run um, poorly, or if it's gonna make it, you know, difficult to play in, so I'm trying to keep that in mind. I'm trying to use, like, the same kind of items, I guess, for most houses without making it look like it's just carbon copied, but I guess you get that if you do a save without custom content anyways, because there's only so many items that are, like, good-looking <laughs> or, like, useful and doesn't have, like, terrible swatches, so... Yeah, I'm trying to find a good balance between it, but... Is this too fancy looking? Oop! Is this too fancy looking for this room? Something kind of general. Like, I could put a CC bed here, but then I'm like, is that, like, it's just a guest room. Like, do we need a CC bed in here? It's just the guest room. Let's put that there. That can be there. And then I'll just put like a really basic um, like desk thing over here with a little chair that they don't really use that often, which is why it's inside of the guest room. I mean, yeah, this is like literally a room that most likely they don't use unless someone's like visiting. For a long time, so I feel like that's fine. I feel like that's okay. They might have like a couple boxes and stuff in here that they just kind of threw in here because 
they don't have anywhere else for it maybe like a chest of drawers in here would be good i know we have like the walk-in closet but some rooms have both usually at least sometimes i don't know um let's see i don't Hmm. I mean, we don't have to do a chest of drawers in here. It's a nice dresser. Um. I don't know if I like that. Should we move this over here and put the thing over here. I think I like that more. I'm not really sure why, but I do. Let me put this mirror in here. Yeah, that's fine. It's like a guest room. I feel like they need a lamp over here. Uh, and then we'll put blinds here, here, and then maybe a photo up on the wall. And then we're gonna leave that room, because I don't think they need that much in there. Um, kind of bored of these paintings, to be honest. Like, the ones from the game. I guess I could get um, the ones, like, on the gallery. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Just like a simple guest bedroom downstairs. And then we'll do the office down here. I don't know what these sims are about. They're obviously living in like the more, like a little bit of a higher income kind of neighborhood. So like, I don't know. I don't know what their vibe is, like what jobs they have. Maybe like just typical like business jobs like office kind of jobs or like, I don't know. I feel like office job is like the vibe for this house or for like the people that live here. So maybe they do work from home sometimes. I feel like the careers I always give my Sims is like artist, writer, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I feel like they're always um, writers and artists, but um, in The Sims 3, actually, I think the jobs I always have my Sims do is usually being a police officer or in the medical career. I think I use those ones the most often. I actually don't use, like, I don't have them in, like, a... Um, creative like at least an artist i guess sometimes i have them do journalism or like writing and stuff like that um but yeah i don't do like the artist career that often in the sims 3 because i feel like it's a lot harder so i usually just do it in this game i don't like that desk in here i think we're just gonna do that maybe this can be like a rec room because i always don't put like these kind of like chess tables and stuff in houses that often. I don't know how common it is for most people to have a whole like physical chess table that they use. It's usually like they pull it out of a board game box and then like assemble it that way. But we don't have that kind of vibe in this game. So it's like an entire chess table. So I don't usually do that that often. But if they're like in a career and it makes sense to have one, I guess like it's fine like they need the logic skill there's also like a mod i'm pretty sure it's by ravishing where um you can like get your logic skill up by playing chess on the computer which i feel like makes more sense than having an entire chess table in your house um i don't know i don't think i have that in my game right now but i know that exists and i have used it before and i found it way better than having to like find room to put an entire chess table in the house so 
there is that if you're looking for uh, something a little bit more simple. I could do this, just like have stools here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We need kind of... Let me put, like, some light in here. Maybe I'm getting tripped out because there's not a lot of lighting. I don't know. I'm just going to put this here for now. You come down the stairs. Maybe there's, like... Maybe we'll just put, like, a plant in the corner. Um... And put a little plant here. And then we'll do some kind of rug. Um, what kind of rug? I think these ones are like coastal rugs. So I don't know if they're gonna fit here as much. We could do this blue one. That doesn't look terrible. That one's okay. I don't know if I like that with the wallpaper though. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I feel like desk chairs or something that we don't have a lot of, like a lot of nice looking ones, I guess. Like this one just looks really like plasticky. <laughs> I don't like the way it looks. I like the one from high school years, it's not bad. Um, and the swatches make sense for like a gamer type thing. And they do have neutral swatches, like I really could put this in here, but sometimes I want a lower profile back. So I don't use that one all the time. That one's okay. Could do that one. I think they just do office work and stuff, so I'm not gonna put like a PC that does game things. I'm just gonna put like this Mac desktop because I think that makes sense with oops, someone doing just like desk work kind of things. Um, move this over. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this light, but yeah. I need paintings that I don't think are repetitive. I feel like I should probably just go into the gallery and get some. Um, let's see what we have. I'm just gonna shut my reshade off for a second. I have, where is it? They do some, something that would work for like an office type of thing. There's plants, fishing posters. There's this little one with the peacock on it. Could do that. It's kind of cool. Um, oh, that's cute for like a baby room, for like a kid's room. I feel like I go in here like to get paintings and stuff from the gallery a lot for like kids' rooms and stuff. I don't usually use it for just like general kind of thing. Oh, that's cute. It's like bathroom art. That's cute. Should probably like try using these more, but I never do for some reason. Um, I don't know which one to choose. I mean, these are kind of general looking. Let's see what we got here. Um, we're just gonna throw it here. Okay. Okay, anime. My gosh, that's so sad. A dead, <laughs> a dead deer, <laughs> um, a sea turtle, and some. Oh, the beluga whales are kind of cute. Um, maybe this one. I feel like I wanted a bigger painting though. So I hate how big the frame is, but. I mean, that's fine, I guess. That's fine. Let's do... We need, like, pencils or pens or whatever. Where is it? This one? 
and maybe they just have like I don't know books and stuff on here too put over there yeah that's fine I could put that notebook thing where is that this one writing some stuff down yeah we'll put that there just some little pieces of clutter and then I think I'm gonna get that little trash can this one I'm gonna just tuck it under here and then maybe some curtains should we do curtains or blinds that is the question We do that or should we have like curtains in here so without curtains with curtains without with i feel like it looks good with curtains so i'm just gonna kind of move this a little bit i know it like clips into the desk but i'm not one of those people that care about that because truly i can't be bothered <laughs> i know some people are like oh it's clipping like i can't have that there but i truly just don't care enough so i'm just gonna leave that should we change the color of this it's kind of white There's a lot of white in this room right now we could do darker mm. Mm. yeah see that weird leg maybe it's because i'm recording i don't know what that's about i feel like it wasn't doing that before um i kind of hate all of those just do like a gray I mean, we could just do the gray. Put another painting up here. A picture up on the wall. And then definitely need a bookshelf down here. What kind of bookshelf are we gonna go for? Could do this vibe. Could do that one. Could be that one. This one. Hmm. I was actually going through like my archive today on my Tumblr. Sometimes I just like will do that and just like look at the stuff I posted in the past. It's like going on a little nostalgia trip. And I was looking at like some of my gameplay from past like. Um, I guess it's like legacy or like generational gameplay that I was doing um, and it was like a save that I had for like years like I'm pretty sure it's like five years old um, and I was just like looking at them and like the sims that I had and like the weddings and all these like milestones and I was like oh like I miss it I still have that save but um, it's so buggy now because it's been so long since I've had it so it's kind of like it's a bit of a chore to play in sometimes just because it's such an old save and I feel like it gets kind of, um, you know, you can like feel the age on it. Um, and it's just kind of like bogged down a little bit. I've taken a lot of, I used to have a lot of, um, builds in it that I did and then I just like deleted them because I thought maybe that was causing it. Just from like deleting CC over the years, I thought maybe it was causing issues, so... It definitely doesn't look the same and it doesn't have all the same like houses and stuff but yeah that made me so nostalgic to play like in that save and the save like just doesn't feel the same you know when like you're playing generational gameplay and then you like get to a certain point and then it just doesn't feel the same i don't know it just doesn't feel the same to me i kind of miss those vibes that i used to have um yeah so I was getting really nostalgic about that and it's making me really want to like genuinely play the game. I know I mentioned it in the last video 
um, that we were like furnishing this house in, but I'm just like really, actually, no, I think it was the one before that. For the... I think it was the first save file video I put out. I like mentioned that I'm, I like want to play the game, but I don't want to play the game unless like it's exactly how I want it to be. Um, so I'm like trying to finish this save so that I can play the game and have fun. Um, because I just, for some reason, don't like take the, um, like the blank world mod by Wing Llama out, which is what I'm using to build these worlds. Um, so like if I go into one of my other saves, it's going to be like completely blank. And so then it's like not as like fun and immersive to play in. But I don't want to take the mod out for some stupid reason. Like, I don't know why I'm stubborn about that, but I'm like, I'm not going to take the mod out. So I, like, don't play that often. And I'm just getting kind of, like, sad because I just want to play the game. Especially, like, when I did that little nostalgia dive today. I'm just really feeling, like, playing with that Legacy family. Even though it kind of just doesn't feel the same. Like, it's not the same vibes from when I first started the family, but I think it's because, like, when I was playing the earlier generations of that, like, save, because I do, like, rotational gameplay with them, so I'll play, like, if they have, like, I don't know, three kids or something, I'll, like, rotate between the three kids and their lives and, like, who they get married to or if they stay single and adopt or, like, whatever, so that's, like, usually what I do when I'm playing that save or like just in general I guess I play rotationally I find it the most entertaining for like a longer period of time because then you're not like stuck with this like one person or like one story for a long time and I feel like that can get kind of repetitive or like boring after a while so I like doing um yeah I like doing it rotationally so yeah but like it just doesn't I feel like when I was like on those first generations of that save I would like do like organize like family get-togethers and like I had this community center that I made and they would just like go to that and like host family reunions there and that was before the, um growing together even came out and like it was an actual like event that you could have um but yeah like I don't like really do that anymore for some reason like they don't get together like the extended family doesn't get together that often anymore and I think that's why I'm like kind of sad about it. I think that's why it doesn't feel the same is what I'm trying to say. I think it's just because I'm not like playing the same, but I didn't really realize how different the playstyle was until like, I guess now in this generation, I'm like, oh yeah, like they like never see the extended family. I think they're not even like acquainted with each other at this point. So like they don't even know each other to get together. And like a lot of the like people or like the sims and stuff that were from other parts of the family have like died off so like they don't really have anyone to get to know anyways because they're dead now and it's just kind of sad just the vibes you know the vibes are sad and so i feel like with this because right now um the family has like three kids that they had and i'm playing out each of their lives um and i feel like now that I'm at this point where there's like extended like kids and like now they have cousins and stuff I'm gonna try and like play in that way again where I'm getting them together for like family dinners and like reunions and stuff like that um and trying to like foster the relationships between like the cousins and like extended relatives because I think that's the most fun that I've had playing the game so I'm gonna try and do that with where I'm at in the current save because I just really liked it. It was enjoyable and I miss those kinds of vibes of being really like a close-knit family. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like talking about <laughs> that little nostalgia trip I had and how I've realized that like my game style, I guess, or like play style has changed. Um, but I don't think it's as enjoyable as like really going ham with it because girl, like... When I play that legacy save, like we're doing weddings, we're doing baby showers, like it's, we like, I go like full in there. Like I'm, for like every single sim, like I'm like not playing around. Um, I actually really have, I know that like a lot of people don't enjoy having weddings in the game, but I genuinely love 
like <laughs> making a venue and choosing like the wedding gown and like having bridesmaids and stuff like that and groomsmen I just really enjoy that process um I think it's really fun so if you haven't played that way ever and you're getting a little bit bored with like I don't know maybe you're like staying in one kind of play style for a long period of time uh, maybe try that because I find it's really I think it's the most fun that I've had playing the game um and even with like the sims 3 if you don't play the sims 4 I do the same thing with the sims 3 in like rotational gameplay and I feel like it's the most fun that I have as well in that game I think that is just kind of my kind of play style I think it's the most fun to do um because I think just playing with that like one sim family for like a long time just it gets boring after a while so yeah if you are struggling with something and you're not like having as much fun then maybe try doing rotational gameplay with like a bunch of family members because i think it's a lot more fun and that would be my recommendation if that is something that you are struggling with um i think that this room is done i'm gonna put a top light in here like a ceiling light because i think it's a little bit too dark in here so we're gonna put a ceiling light in there we're just gonna adjust this to be a little bit warmer and not as bright yeah that's good it's a nice little office area there's enough room to walk around and like i don't know play guitar like play with your kids or something you know when you like build a house and then you're like, oh, play with your kid or like play the guitar. And then they literally like go outside because there's not enough room in the house. I hate when that happens. That bothers me so much. So I try to make sure that there's like enough space um, to do that. Like ground space to that your Sims would have enough room to do those kinds of things. Because sometimes I don't make enough space and then that's super annoying. I really like this thing. I'm gonna try and use that more. I wish they had it in like different variations, like a round one and like a rectangular one, but I don't think they do because I didn't see it in there. I think it's just this one, but that's fine. I still like it. I'll probably use that a little more often. Okay, so I put like this like concrete tile here, but does that make that much sense or would this be wood? I feel like this would be wood. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do that. They also need a porch light in here, so I'm just gonna steal these real quick and put them on this side. Um, and I feel like they would just have like a grill here. I know you're not supposed to place like barbecues on to like where the house is uh, They're supposed to like oops. They're just like literally disappeared They're supposed to be like against a fence or like not against the house or whatever um, Which is not something I've done in the past. I've always put them against the house for some reason But apparently that's a not like that's a fire hazard, which I didn't know and I really should be old enough to know that, but I, I genuinely didn't know that. Um, and then my dad told me like, oh yeah, you're not supposed to have a barbecue like against the house. And I was like, oh, I've been doing that for years in my Sims game. Um, so yeah, that's like a safety hazard, but I do it sometimes if it looks better, even though it's like a fire hazard, but like, I don't think it's a fire. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it in my legacy gameplay, they have a, barbecue and it's against the house and they've been having that like thing is constantly having fires so now that i think about it that could be why um maybe it is real did they put that in the game that's like realistic that you shouldn't have that against the house like if you guys have a barbecue against your sims house does it catch on fire more often than like if it was just like near a fence or just on the lawn actually let me know because now i'm i i literally just had that epiphany like just a second Maybe that is why they are always having that, like that barbecue is constantly blowing up. Like, I don't know what that's about, but now maybe that is what that's about. There's like no way to put this unless I just put them both against that, like do that. I kind of don't, I don't like that when you move the camera, it does that though. Um, is there enough room if I shove it over here? 
I know this is like technically close to the house. Should I just make this bigger? Should I just have this go out more? Like just by like one space. I feel like this needs to go out a little bit more. Like here-ish. I feel like that looks better. I think we're gonna do that. Put that there. Um, put a light out there for this one. Yeah, I think they need more space here. I can put this over here and then have the barbecue over here. And then I always like put it against things, but then when they open the lid, it like cuts in. So I try to like, it's kind of annoying, but I don't like when it clips in to that. Okay. I think this is fine. Maybe I'll make that black. And then maybe like put a plant out here or something. Or maybe like a um like a lounge chair or something. Where's that? Uh where's the Adirondack chair? This one. I don't know, maybe like one of the parents goes out here and just sits to get away from the kids <laughs> and read or something. Put this out here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, maybe a plant. Should we put a plant up there? I feel like it needs green. Some kind of greenery up here. I feel like they can still get through this door, right? I think they should be able to. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, and then they come down here and then maybe we should put a light out here. And then we need to do bushes and maybe a tree house. Should we put a tree house out here for the twins? Oh, I think on the gallery they have ones that are like fully built. That's like a thing, I think. Tree house. Because if you, I place it down, it'll just be like with the boxes. Hello? Oh, it's like actual tree. No, let's do by room. Yeah, like these ones are like already done. Oh my goodness, why is it so big? Um, okay, I guess we're going to have to put those stairs back. But yeah, now it's actually like fully built. So we'll put this back here. I think it'd be nice for the kids to have a tree house. Where's the entrance? Oh, it's right there. Should we do it this way? I kind of don't like it that way. Technically that's the front though. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so the kids have a tree house. Um, what else could we put out here? Uh, maybe like a fire pit or something. Maybe they have a fire pit out here. Do we have a, um... Actually, it's kind of a slope. I was gonna put like maybe a basketball thing out here, but it's a sloped driveway, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna leave that. Yeah, we'll do a fire pit. Let's get some chairs to put here. I think we're just gonna do Adirondack chairs. We'll do that. Um, do we want to put it back here or do we want it? Actually, I have to put the stairs back. I forgot about that. I'm just gonna get this. Three, two tiles. Um, because we could put it here. We could put a swing set here or something. Because this is the neighborhood that does not have park unless I built one somewhere I don't know if it's gonna be accessible depending on where I put it I don't think this area is walkable um yeah I think there's less walkable space here I'm not really sure even with like the mod where it's like clickable worlds if they would be able to actually move over here otherwise I would put a park I mean I'm just gonna do a swing set for now and then if it's possible to put a park in and the sims can actually access it, I'll try and put a park in here. 
because like I said, I'm trying to make it as like open world as I can possibly try and make it. I kind of like that. I like this one. But yeah, I think the, this is like the only space that's going to really fit. So they're going to have like a fire pit thingy over there. And then the rest is going to be bushes and flowers and stuff. And I have to put this fence in more. I also noticed that I guess it came with like an update, but there's like different color fences, obviously, but there's like these worn out looking ones too. Like, I love that it looks like that. I didn't realize we even had that until recently. Should I change the fence? Should I change the fence? Technically, it's one less CC thing to get. So I might, might just change it. I do have everything that I'm using in like a document. I'm really hoping that I'm not forgetting anything. Um, but yeah, I do have like all the CC and stuff that I'm using for the save in a document listed. So hopefully like I'm remembering everything that I'm using. Um, so yeah, I am trying to keep track of it and make it as efficient as humanly possible. But I also don't have a very organized brain mechanic. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but I am trying to make it organized. Should we do flowers over here? Ooh. I feel like we should do flowers there. Oops. Because if the parent does like, like I put that flower arranging table, like maybe they do like the gardening and stuff out the back in the front, like some of the landscaping stuff. I want to keep this here because I have to do the bedroom still and I might use some stuff from in there. So I'm going to keep that there for now. Just do some, what's it called? ground cover some ground cover that can go over there they take lawn maintenance very seriously in this household <laughs> so the lawn's perfectly cut and they don't have like sometimes I like doing those like um, grass things around from eco lifestyle or it might be Hanford no I think it's from eco lifestyle I'm pretty sure but I like putting them around the fence, but I think they keep everything sharp and cut. Like, they be weed black in that. So they don't have any tufts of grass anywhere. Yeah. Oops. Um. Should I make this fishable? I don't think I'm going to. Maybe people have fishable ponds in their backyards, but I'm just gonna not do that. I don't think I want it to be fishable. Some more ground cover over there. Yeah, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to do too much, so maybe that's okay. I might put maybe like hedges or something on this side. Where's the hedges? Or rocks or something? Do I use rocks over here? Yeah, I mean, I could put like some kind of oops that's literally massive i'm just gonna like throw this over here like i could put this in more maybe and then i don't know one maybe nope three i have to turn it a little bit so it goes into the ground and hides that little edge. Negative two. That's too much. Go up one. We'll do another one, but I'm gonna like turn it the other way. And then just kinda put this down. Go like 
that. Just some random rocks and stuff. And then I'm just gonna put some ground cover here for like bushes and stuff. Kind of try and cover it up a little bit for the edges. Because I truly don't know what I'm doing when it comes to landscaping. So... Yeah. What have you guys been up to? I hope everything is well in your lives. I've been watching, as I said earlier, a lot of House MD. Um, which really, in some episodes, shows the time it was made. <laughs> um, but I am enjoying it overall because I was kind of a weirdo as a kid and I liked medical things. So I kind of watched a lot of, I actually like have seen quite a couple of episodes from House. Now that I'm like watching it as an adult, I like remember seeing it on TV at the time when I was a kid. So it's kind of funny to remember some of the stuff that happens. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying watching that. It's really interesting and I feel like it's making me feel like I'm smart <laughs> because sometimes they'll like not know what a patient has at first and I'll be like, I bet it's this. And then sometimes it will be that. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm a genius. But it's really just because like they're very, like the episodes are very formulaic. So it's kind of, if you watch enough, you can kind of guess what's gonna happen most of the time. Um, I think we're on season three right now. And I've literally made a bingo card for it because I thought it'd be funny and like interesting to see how much I could like just like the patterns in the show and like how the formula goes, especially for the first two seasons, like bingo is so easy. Um, yeah, it's like honestly kind of fun to do that. So I've also been like using the bingo cards while I'm watching and that's been kind of fun but um yeah that's a show that i've been watching i also like when it got to fall time i've been trying to like crochet this like colorful cardigan um i haven't crocheted since i was literally a kid so it's been a long time but it was like a project that i really wanted to do um and like a hobby that i wanted to start doing again um i never really did it like super seriously or anything because like i said it was like a kid when I was last doing it um but yeah I'm trying to do that more so I'm trying to make this my first project back to crocheting I've decided was going to be a cardigan which is kind of crazy now that I think about it I don't know why I chose a cardigan I should chose like a scarf because it's literally the easiest thing you could do but I was like I'm gonna do a cardigan and so that's the project that I'm doing right now um and I ran out of yarn so I actually have to go get more but I think it's turning out okay. Like, I know it's not going to be perfect. Um, and obviously, I'm not. I'm going to make, like, a bunch of mistakes and stuff. But that's a, the whole part of, like, learning. And I'm not going to know what I need to know unless I try. So that's the kind of energy I'm trying to go into it with. Because, yeah. I'm doing the sleeves right now. I'm actually following... I'm not following a pattern or anything. I literally am just eyeballing it from, like, a hoodie that I have that I like the fit of. I just decided that I was gonna like try and copy that um, as much as I possibly could. And so that's what I've been doing. I've just been like co copying this hoodie that I like the fit of and hoping that it's gonna like work out at the end. Um, it's okay. Actually, I think it's, I think it's gonna turn out like, okay. I don't, I know it's not gonna be perfect, but I don't mind where it's going so far. Um, but we'll have to see how that turns out. I have to get more yarn and then continue it. But yeah, that's like a project thing I'm doing. And while I was doing that project, I, and it was like full time, I started rewatching Gilmore Girls. So I think this is like, I don't know, my third time watching it. Um... And I feel like the older I get and I watch it, the more I'm like, these decisions that you're making are terrible. <laughs> like it's, this, you get a whole different, you know, view on things that they're doing. And like, it's just interesting. It's interesting to rewatch stuff that you saw as a kid, as an adult, cause you just, 
it you know you get all the things that you didn't get when you're younger and probably have a different um take on like characters and stuff like that um so yeah it's it's interesting to do that and yeah some of the decisions these girlies are making i'm like girl what are we doing like where's the worth where's the dignity but it really do be like that sometimes so um yeah okay i think i'm gonna go overboard if i stay in this backyard i feel like i'm i'm doing way too much so um yeah that that's it i'm gonna stop here i think that's fine i think that's how we're gonna leave it for now i'm gonna save actually because i don't think i've done that thus far so we're gonna do that another hobby that i haven't been doing as much but i kind of miss is drawing i've been like i'm a pinterest girly so i'm like on pinterest every day at some point and i've been seeing like a lot of character art and stuff that i like and it's making me miss drawing so maybe i'll get back into doing drawing again i always go through bouts with drawing it's like something i can't get enough of and then i just kind of like quit for a while um, but yeah, I've definitely fallen behind on, like, skill level, obviously, because it's not something that I've kept up with, and if I had kept up with it, then, you know, muscle memory, and, like, obviously, the more you practice a skill, the better you'll do, um, and yeah, I've been doing it for a long time, so I'm not, I've kind of forgotten how to draw certain things, which is unfortunate, but I know if I try and get back into it, um, I'll get better as I go along. Um, it's just gonna be a, a little process, but yeah, I want to do that. And then I've had clay that I literally just haven't touched since I got it. Um, so I want to do some clay stuff too. I really want to make, because when I like draw and stuff and I like write things sometimes, I mean, I used to, I don't really do it anymore, but I have like stories that just kind of float around my brain and... So I have like characters and stuff and I really want to try doing like a clay model of a character that I've made. So that's something I, a project I really want to do, but I did get the clay with the intention of making little, because it's like been a while since I've done clay stuff. Um, I want to do something like straightforward. So I got it with the intention of using it to, um, do like little clay heads <laughs> so just like little i guess busts of like is it busts it's not is it is it a bust if it's like the waist up like to the head or is it like for just heads actually i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm just talking about doing like the neck up basically of maybe the shoulders just so it has like a sturdier um foundation to stand on i guess rather than just like a neck um but yeah i'm just kind of trying to do that with like a bunch of different faces and facial expressions and stuff because that's something i've wanted to do for a long time in clay and i just haven't done it so i got it with the intention of doing that and then i just literally let it sit on the shelf and i haven't picked it up since then so that's also something that i want to do so I'm trying, I'm just trying to get into those creative hobbies again, you know? I think I, I get a lot of joy from doing them, but I don't do it often. And it's like, why would I do that when I know that it makes me happy and feel like creatively fulfilled? Um, definitely like building and stuff in The Sims also does that for me. But there's something about having like a physical thing that you made with your hands. And I think doing the crochet project really like made me realize that like I'm missing that kind of like that aspect of art that's like something you can like actually touch in real life and like use um and it's like functional in that way so yeah I, I guess that I'm just kind of in that headspace now where I want to build stuff and make stuff with my hands and be able to like have it and like display it and stuff like that so yeah, I'm having a fun time. I feel like I never use this swatch. Maybe I should use this swatch. Wait, is this the right swatch for this? Wait, okay, it's next to the yellow and the blue. Where's this one? Do they not have a matching swatch for this bed? Because I thought this was the matching swatch. Oh, maybe it is. Is that? 
That looks like a darker wood tone, though. Doesn't that not look like the same color? Maybe it's just my eyes. Okay, maybe it is, actually. Maybe I'm just dumb. No, I think... Yeah, I think that's fine. I know this is like a different swatch, but I kind of like that one. And it's got these cute little trees on it. Who cares? It's fine. We'll do that. Um, maybe these kids like do soccer or like ballet. Because I have the ballet mod in my game, which I do really enjoy doing. I have another family that isn't part of that like five year legacy save. Um, it's like a separate thing that I made. And their daughter has been doing ballet since she was like a kid she's a teenager now she's still in it and i just really enjoy that mod i like that it's like a new skill people have been saying for a long time now that we need like a hobby and like skills based pack which i agree with i think we need more things for like kids and adults and elders to do and teens um so yeah we definitely need like a free time pack or whatever like how they had in the sims 2 I think we need something kind of like similar to that. Just like more stuff and hobbies and stuff for them to do. But yeah, I really like that mod um, and I've been playing with it. So I'm gonna use it for this save. So I'm probably gonna have like a gym or like some kind of studio that will have stuff for like the ballet mod. Um, so you can like use it and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying, I enjoy playing with that mod. Let's see. Maybe some kind of rug in here would be cute. That's such a cute little rug. It's kind of not big enough though. If I size it up, it's big, but does it fit the room? Because it's not like a square room, it's a rectangular room. So I feel like I need something rectangular use this one like that's kind of cute hmm okay they need kids activities maybe a table over here they do art stuff I literally never use a science table so maybe one of them could do that. Don't we have another one? Where's the other one? Yeah, this one. Little science table in here. I don't think this is recolorable. Oh, it is. I thought it wasn't. Oh yeah, that kind of matches nice. Yeah, one of them is gonna be into that. One's into like science, one's into art. And they have like trophies for both, I guess. Maybe one of them does a sport too. Um. Like I said, ballet or like soccer or something. I'm just gonna put hobbies and stuff in here. And some posters. I guess I should do like a different wallpaper because it's been the same throughout the entire house. So let's see what we can find if I like it. Could do this stripe one. Hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna find one that I think matches really well. I mean, we could do that one. I don't think that looks bad. I'm also kind of a maximalist at heart though. I know not everybody likes very busy looking like wallpaper or like patterns and stuff. Um, but you know, everyone's house is different. So maybe they're into at least the kids are. The rest of the house isn't really maximalist vibes, but... Oh, that's a cute wallpaper. What is it, though? Oh, it's a little... I think it's an astronaut and a rocket ship and, like, a little spaceship. I mean, that's kind of cute. I don't think that's doing too much either. I think that looks fine. Right? We could do a like more chill down carpet. Oops, this one maybe. Dino 
dinosaurs. There's a black and white version of the other one. Stars. Hmm. I mean, I kind of like this one too, actually. It kind of matches with the colors. Like we have the kind of like peachy kind of color of the bed. Obviously like the light blue, the yellow, like it matches with quite a bit in here. Should I do that or should I go for something more chill? I don't know. We will do this one for now. And if I change my mind, then I'll change it. Mm. I struggle for pictures in kids room too. I don't know why, but I just feel like there's not a whole bunch that can go in a kid's room. The Tooth Fairy posters are super cute though. They're so cute. Um, some kind of singer that they like. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if I'm going to do like a curtain in here or if I'm just going to do blinds. I feel like we're just gonna stick with the blinds. Yeah, I think that's fine. They have their closet over here for their clothes and stuff. I think that's okay. And I put a little bathroom on this side because there's three bedrooms. Did I put a shower downstairs? Oh, I didn't even do it yet. Okay, well, I didn't do the powder room down here, but I don't think it's gonna fit a shower. Um. So yeah, I think they're only gonna have one, like one bathroom that has a shower, but obviously there's more. There's three bathrooms in total, but it's like two half baths and then a full bath kind of energy. I'm just gonna do this. Um, and we're gonna do a really simple mirror that doesn't cut into that one. That kind of goes up too far up. We'll do this one maybe, and then we'll need a towel. Let's do a towel there. And that's all we're gonna do for that bathroom because it's literally a powder room. And then up here for the kids' bathroom, they can have a toilet and I forgot a toilet paper holder. I always forget toilet paper holders in builds. I don't know why, it's just something I forget about a lot some blinds up here and toilet paper holder and what did I use down there I think it was this one we'll do the same sink we're gonna do kind of the same vibe for each bathroom I feel like that makes sense and they have little stickers that they put on there um where's like a like they need uh toothbrushes and stuff in here this one let me just lift it up yeah that's so close to the toilet i know it's a game but i just <laughs> i have to put it somewhere else okay um yeah that's fine we'll do that and that's their bathroom. Maybe we'll put a little rug in there. So their feet aren't cold when they're sitting there. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And then... I think that's it for this room. I think that's all I'm gonna put in here. I think they definitely have enough clutter that it looks like, you know, kids are playing in here. Um, they don't have a dollhouse. Maybe I should get rid of maybe I'll keep that one because it's like on theme with like the sh the I was gonna say ships but like rocket ships um that's like on the wallpaper and like the science kind of vibe so I'm gonna keep that one 
I think they should be able to get in bed with this here. Right? Probably. And then I think I'm going to put a dollhouse here so that they have another activity they can do. I'm going to put this one over here. And then they have trophies over here. And then I'm going to leave this blank just so that they can get inside of the bathroom. Because I don't know if it's going to like block the door or something if I put something over there. So yeah. That's gonna be their room. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Next is maybe this room. I can't remember which one I made. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a parent's room because it has its own balcony. So I guess this would be the teenager's room. Excuse me. I don't know if you heard that. I kind of it a little bit um i think i'm gonna go for or is it high school years kind of vibes so i'm gonna get that stuff out um what kind of bed are we gonna do i like use this bed to death i don't know why i just really like the way it looks um but yeah, I use that bed a lot, so maybe I'll try... I feel like I use this bed out of all of the ones from high school years the least. And it's not even like a bad bed, like it's a nice looking bed. I just don't use this style very often. So it's kind of underused. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to use it now either. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do in here. Like what kind of vibe I'm going for. Let's do this one. Put some side tables in. Whoops. Oh my goodness, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. I think... I don't like that so many handles on objects is gold. I think we have way too much gold knobs on stuff. It's kind of annoying sometimes. I don't know. I don't like how much that hardware is in here. I feel like they need different hardware <laughs> in here. One second. I think someone's trying to talk to me. Oh, okay. Okay, come on. Come. Good boy. Okay. No problem. Sorry, that was my sister. She is going to get a ice cream cake with my brother. And she didn't want to leave my dog Bear alone, so she put him in here. <laughs> Bear. Wanna say hi? Okay, he, he doesn't want to say hi right now. It's okay. Sometimes he's he's a bit grumpy. And that's okay. Um Okay, I don't know what color scheme that I want to do in here. Should we just do the whole blue vibe? Or should we do like a contrasting kind of color in here? I'm trying to use the same wallpaper because there's like a billion swatches, so might as well. I don't know if I'm going to find one that I want in here. I kind of like this one. It's very airy. So I guess we'll do that. And then... Maybe do the... Purple ones? I mean, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. We have ones that match, but I think we're doing way too much matching. I could just do the white one. I could do the pink one. Or this one. I think it's supposed to be yellowy-ish. Maybe we can do that. And then, where's those, like... You know the, uh... Are they in, a, like, above headlights? You know the one? Oh, yeah, it is. These little, like, fairy light things. I could put that in here. I, like, don't use these that often. But they're very cute. And they're very me from when I was a teenager. Because I definitely had this kind of, like, canopy thing with, like, lights that I got. Um, I think we just need to change a 
Maybe she has like colored lights in her room. That could be kind of cute. Let me see what it looks like at night. Yeah, like it's like glowy like that. Let me move this over down here a little bit. Like that could be cute. Um, let's get a rug in here as well. That's cute. I mean, I kind of like this one. It's a little bird. It's a little bird. Look how cute. Hmm. And I just said that was cute and then deleted it, but it's just because I'm not sure about the shape in here. Because uh, I know I'm being kind of really matchy-matchy right now with the blue, like the turquoise kind of vibe. I mean, that's cute. Blue and turquoise, or like turquoise and yellow go together so well. It's just very pleasing to my eyes. I don't think we have any like corally kind of colored ones in here. At least I don't think there is. I mean, that looks nice too. I like that one though. We're gonna leave that for now. Um, and then I think we're gonna do, honestly, we could put the closet over here. There's just like this random two tile space and it's like perfect for this closet. Might as well just put it over there. We'll just move the door. Just so that doesn't look weird. And then... That can be over there. We could do a desk over here. And then a dresser or something over here. Or maybe like a vanity table. Kind of vibe. I feel like I don't use... I mean, actually I do. I kind of use vanity tables, but I usually put them in parents' rooms more than I do for teen rooms for some reason. It's just like a habit, I guess. Let me put this cute one from my Shuno son in here. Oh, is this not functional? I think I grabbed the non-functional one. I think there's two different versions. Yeah, I, I grabbed the non-functional one this one and we'll use the poof that also comes with that which is this one look how cute what color should we do mm. it's not really turquoisey we can just do white poof and then we'll need a lamp or something. I think I'm gonna put a shelf over here and then they also have laundry in this house and I forgot to put a laundry basket in the twins room. So we'll go do that really quick. Uh, we'll put it here. And then she needs one as well. Um, okay, what do we want to put here? We definitely need, we definitely need makeup. There we go. Maybe a robe. Put the robe over here. And then maybe some kind of shelving on the wall over here. Or like a drawer. I think I said I was going to do a drawer over here. Um, what kind of drawer would go with this vibe? I guess we could match it with the set. Actually, I don't know. Oh my goodness, the camera's driving me crazy. I don't know if this matches with it. Is it this watch? I think it's supposed to be this watch, but that for some reason doesn't look the same. Maybe we don't do a dresser in here. Look how cute this wardrobe is. Like, are we kidding? Look how cute that is. Got the bunnies on it. Like, that's crazy. I love that. That's by Kursika. 
I love they do like a lot of pattern stuff and maximalist kind of vibes and I love it I don't know where this is from Simsy Salem I don't know when I got that that's a nice dresser though it is cute Hmm. Really? What door do they use to go in this? Isn't it this one? I think it is. I think that should be functional, right? If I put the laundry basket there? I'm gonna have to play test stuff anyways. So I guess I'll find out. I've been thinking about that too. Like, if I'm gonna play test this save, obviously before I release it, like... That's a lot of families. That's a lot of families to play test. And like, houses and builds and stuff. Um, I truly did it to myself though, so I can't complain. I think I'm going to delete these, these, I don't know why, but these tables are throwing me off and I don't, I'm not 100% sure why it's throwing me off, but it is. And so they're getting deleted. Where's the, um, these ones? I don't know why those other ones are throwing me off. Should it only be one bedside table? Because it is only one person sleeping in here. I feel like it should be just one. I'll put one over here. Or actually, we'll need one for the desk, so we'll put one on the desk. I want to do though those, like desks that are like built in you know the ones that are like they have like the bookshelf thing at the top and then the rest is like a um like a desk thing like you know what i mean like it goes like this it's like built in like i want that i wish they would release one maybe it's in a pack i don't have or whatever but i really want a thing like that that's like built in. I guess this would match. I kind of hate this bookshelf though. I don't like the texture of the books on it. Um, I think this comes in a white. It kind of clips in though. But yeah, I want like a tall like bookcase desk combo thing. I don't know what they're called. We could do two of these and then I'll just like put different books inside so it doesn't look like copy pasted. Maybe I'll do that. Just like shove it in there a little bit. And then I'll use some books from here to kind of hide it. Or like, you know, make it look different. Um, trying to find ones that fit are, is like ridiculous. Like it's truly difficult to find ones that fit. Is this the same? I think this is the same. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna throw all these on there so I can make it the way I want it to go. Okay, like, I want it to cover this. Pretend that book doesn't exist. I know you see it, but like, no, you don't, okay? Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. That's the way it was always supposed to be. And then maybe we'll do like a plant inside one of them. Those cute little drapey plants. You know the ones like this. Where they just falls down the side. Um where's that other one? It's kind of shorter looking. This one? Yeah, we can do that one. Okay. That's the shelf. And maybe like put a plant over here or something. I don't know. We need more clutter on this dresser. 
Also, maybe like a radio or something so they can listen to music in their room. Where's that one? Look how cute this little boombox is. Like, that's so cute. That's so cute. We're gonna use this one. Put that over here. Yeah. Maybe she's like way more organized and clean and like not how I was as a teenager or even as an adult because truly I am just a tornado and very chaotic and so I have a rough time <laughs> with being organized but maybe this teenager has their stuff together and they can be organized. Cute. Maybe I can move this over here actually. And then maybe they have like a body length mirror so they can check their outfit and stuff. Do that. Yeah. And then they're definitely gonna need some blinds. Gonna do that. I don't know if we should have curtains in here. Should we? It like goes across the all three. I mean, yeah, that's kind of cozy. That's kind of cozy. We'll do that. Um. Okay, maybe like some photos and stuff. We don't have any pictures in here for this bedroom. So maybe we'll have like one over here and one over here. And this one, and maybe some over here as well. Um, I mean, I feel like they might have this behind your bed but you can't see it because of the light so what's the point can i put this somewhere else i don't think so okay we're not gonna be able to put that anywhere because we don't have enough room um i don't know about any of those i made these posters and i literally forget about them every single time i go in the game I didn't like make the art on them, but I just put them on this, like the same kind of picture thing that was in the game. I just recolored it basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I always forget that I have it in the game and then I don't use it, but yeah, I should use it more often because it'll suit like teen rooms and stuff like that. Okay. I think that's cute. Maybe she needs like, I mean, I said she was like a organized teenager. So I guess maybe they wouldn't have like stuff just laying around, but I was gonna put stuff laying around <laughs> cause I don't know what else to do. Um, I don't know, maybe they're saving up for something that they have coins. Actually, I'll put that on the dresser. Also, if they have a CD player, they could have CDs stack. Uh, like a little CD stack over here. Cute. A cute little alarm clock. Maybe some new shoes they just got. And a cell phone being charged. Ooh, yeah, headphones over here. Oh, that's clipping in. Whoopsie. Look at that there. This over here. And some over there. I think she should have these ones. And then 
Should we do a bed blanket? Oh yeah, but you can have this as well over here. Okay, and then It's a little plushy of a cow. That's cute. Should we do a blanket? Like a custom blanket? Where is that? I think it's under beds. Or should we not do that? Because the whole reason we chose the bed is because it has those like turquoise covers. And it kind of like defeats the purpose of it. But like that's kind of cute. And I like the way messy sheets look. So I might keep that actually. I don't know, I feel like it makes a room look so much more like comfy and lived in if they have kind of like these messy pillows. It's kind of changing the vibes though. You can't see the turquoise as much. I mean, I can just leave it. Okay. I think that's what we're gonna do for this room. It's very tidy. This teenager is not like me when I was a teenager because they're actually tidy, so good for them. <laughs> good for them. That is a good thing. I wish I could do that. I mean, I can do that, but it's just hard to do. Maybe they like work out. I feel like this person's a cheerleader. Where's that cheerleader thing? You know that cheerleader thing? I'm just gonna put this over here. Actually, no, that's like a mat. I think it's an outdoor stuff, right? Or no, maybe it's in skills. I think it's in skills actually. Where is that? Where is it? Okay, I literally don't know where it is. Okay, well, anyways, I'll find that eventually. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. But I don't think she's gonna do that in her room. I can just, like... I don't know. Maybe she, like, goes outside and practices over here. We'll just do that. Okay. That's the teenager's room, and we're gonna do the parents' room, and then I think I'm gonna do this one off camera, and then I'll come back and just kind of go through with the house, and then it's done. And then I'll put it up for download, you guys can get it, and that'll be that. But for right now, we're gonna finish the parents' bedroom. What kind of color bed would they have in here? I feel like the parents have kind of like neutral kind of vibes, you know? It's the vibes I'm getting. I can change the lights in here finally because the mod was updated. Um, so yeah, it actually works now, which is nice. Yeah, the parents have kind of like dark neutral kind of energy. So I feel like they would go for neutral stuff. So that's what we're gonna go for in here and I'm gonna use these side tables because I think they're very nice looking and the ones in the game are very oversized for absolutely no reason maybe we'll do do these lamps over here on each side and then sorry my dog's licking he has allergies and so he has like this thing where he's just like licking all the time He's been on like a bajillion medications for it, um, but it's just like an issue that we've been having with him um, and the vet has given him a bunch of stuff and only one thing has really worked, but it like will damage his, I think it's his kidneys or his liver if he's on it for too long, so he had to be taken off of it, but he's still like, now he's like just gotten into the habit of licking a lot, um, which apparently is like a thing, like the vet was saying like, that dog allergies like dogs having allergies has gotten especially bad recently and i don't know like what that's about but it's definitely been affecting him unfortunately so oh my god it says darth vader i didn't know that i had a rug with darth vader on it that's that's funny i'll use that somewhere i'll use it in a bachelor pad or like a, a teenager's room or something at some point i kind of like this cow print but i don't know if i'm gonna put it in here 
so yeah if you hear licking in the background it's my poor dog having allergies unfortunately um he's on like a probiotic now that we got and we're helping we're hoping that it'll like kind of even out his t tummy issues but we'll have to see because he's still been having issues so i don't know if it's really working that well if you guys have any suggestions like you've had a dog that has really bad allergies and like is licking all the time um like their paws and stuff definitely let me know because he's always struggle bussing and it's kind of sad so we're gonna have to figure something out eventually definitely gonna do curtains in here because i feel like that fits for a main bedroom and i think i'm gonna do one that goes across the entire thing we'll do the blue yeah we can do the blue i didn't change the wallpaper in here we could do a different wallpaper um unless i hate all of them and in which case we're not gonna do that Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about these. Um. I mean, that's kind of nice, I guess. I mean, it kind of matches well with the carpet. I don't know why I felt like I needed to change it. Like, it does kind of match with this. Like, the colors in it. Maybe this needs to be different. We'll do that, I guess. Do a darker swatch of this one. And then maybe like do, I always struggle with parents' rooms because I feel like they're kind of boring. Like with kids' rooms and teens' rooms, you can like have more personality in them. But I just really struggle with doing parents' rooms. Um, I don't know. We can have a mirror over here so they get like changed and then look in the mirror. Maybe we'll have some shoes. We'll do some shoes near the mirror on the floor. Just some clutter. And then. Hmm. Nice little picture frame on the side table and then just kind of cute maybe I'll we'll put that on the bed that's cute um I mean I guess I could do another vanity table in here I could do another vanity table or I could do a dresser or something. I'm not really sure. I mean, I guess it would go on this wall, which means they don't have a dresser in here. Unless I do like a small one. I think there's one actually that matches the bedside tables. Yeah, this one over here. Do like a chest of drawers there. I think like maybe the dad is like a sports fan. And like he got a signed jersey from like one of his favorite players, so now it's like in their room. <laughs> it's like his his pride and joy. So I think that's why that's up there. And then sh what kind of chair should we do? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. What colors does this come in? It does come in a blue, but it's not really the same kind of blue we're going for. Oh, I guess there's this one. Maybe that's too much, though. Maybe we'll do a different color. Put some makeup here. Um, and then maybe just some other clutter pieces. I'm not really sure. Maybe like flowers or something. Sometimes I put flowers on vanity tables. 
Does this have a working candle? Oh, it doesn't. I mean, we could put that there. Maybe a gym bag. Put a gym bag over here. Um. Yeah. Let's get like photos. We could put photos up here. Maybe they have like. I think they're all pretty much the same. I don't know what color frame I want. That one maybe? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. And then. Hmm. Maybe like a chair. Sorry, my dog heard that my sister and brother are back, and so now he's like, like he's like wants to leave. <laughs> so he makes like little noises. Put a little chair there. Okay, I think that's fine. Maybe like a curtain for the window or the sliding door. Maybe we'll do that over here. So they can like shut it and have some privacy when they need to. Is that the same color? I think it is. Oops. Yeah, it is. Um, I kind of hate these. I don't know if I'm vibing the color. Oh, that looks better, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. And then maybe like a photo in here. Um, yeah, we'll do a photo in there. Okay, now we have to do the, oops, outside porch, or like, yeah, deck, whatever this is called. And then we'll put two out here, because the parents obviously probably go out here and use it to just chill. Put the other table here. And... Maybe like a lemonade tray or something. They come out here and they drink some lemonade. And we'll do it in this color. Yeah, they come out here, have a nice lemonade, sit back, snooze, watch the kids play in the treehouse. Kind of vibes. Maybe like the, you know that plant thingy? Might put that out here, like right here-ish. Yeah, and then maybe a mat over here. Okay, I think that's good. We're gonna save, because I'm afraid of this crashing. But I think that is it. I'm going to do the bathroom off camera and then we'll come back and I'll show you basically what we've done with the house so far. Okay, and I finished some last couple touches and here is the finished build um obviously driveway got your little mailbox go up we have a porch down here i didn't do too much i just put like sitting area and then like a table um because i don't know what to do with front porches um and then you go inside of the house and they have like a little you know sitting thing here so you can put your shoes on and stuff like that um, and then you go inside of the house and then we have the kitchen over here. It's a nice little like, you know, coffee tea bar thing. Um, and then the stove and then the ovens over here. Just kind of like neutral kind of vibes, I think is the energy for the people that live here. And then we have a hallway here and that door goes to a powder room. And then in here is the dining room. Um, and it does get some light in the evenings. So this is the dining room area. Nice and simple. And then we come through this doorway from the hall. And this is the living room area. It has like a piano in here and, you know, just living room things. And then if we go back through the dining room, there's obviously the sliding door and that leads outside to a barbecue area, sitting area and somewhere you can chill. And then you go down the stairs to the backyard and there's a nice fire pit over here, a little cheerleading mat, a swing set, and then the tree house, of course. And there's also a pond back here as well. So that's what's back here. And then 
if we go down, oops, if we go down into this sliding door area, this is obviously the garage. There's some garage things in here, just some storage space, an RV or like camper van or whatever it's called. And then in here is the office space. It also has obviously is where you can do your logic skill and it's kind of like just a regular like rec room so if you want to make this room into like some kind of hobby that your sims do then you can definitely put it down here but I just made it kind of like a simple office area and then through the door over here is a guest bedroom which is obviously if like someone wants to stay over you have like a stay over guest you can have them in there and then of course if we go upstairs and into the hallway over here you can go up and then this is like the upstairs hallway there's a bedroom in here that is for a teenager um and they have their own desk and everything over here vanity table all that good stuff and then in here is the twin kids room so they have toys in here and stuff to play with and activities and things to do that's that room and then they also have their own attached little half bath and a closet here um, and then we go back into the hallway there's a bathroom over here which is like the one that has the shower and there's also a tub as well if they want to go into the tub um, have a nice little soak and then we have this kind of you know little laundry kind of thing over here so your sims can do their laundry and then we have the main bedroom in here for the parents and so the very you know kind of turquoisey neutral kind of vibes in here and yeah that's their room and then they have a door that goes out onto this area where they can just suntan and chill and look out and yeah and that's pretty much everything for this house and i really like it i like the way it turned out i'm glad i tried to do something different with like the outside of it and kind of this tiered stair um staircase kind of thing on the outside and yeah i like it but this is going to be obviously up for download in the description so you can find the link there and i hope that you guys enjoyed this build and this video and i will see you all very soon in the next one